Hello, welcome to my top five cards for the Shadow Isles region from Legends of Runeterra. Now, I recently made a video talking about deck building and giving my guide and tips along that. And one of the topics I was talking about was actually playing staple cards and including good tech cards. And I think I wanted to maybe follow up on that with this idea that I talked about some of the most common inclusions from regions and cards that you definitely want to consider when you're deck building. So if this video was at all helpful or you did enjoy this concept, uh, let me know because I will continue to do more stuff like this, but without dragging this along uh, too much longer, let's go ahead in no particular order and talk about some of Shadow Isle's uh, best cards. Now the first card I want to mention is going to be uh, Vengeance. Now this card, man, like this is like one of the reasons to be in Shadow Isles right now. It recently got buffed. This used to be seven mana, but as soon as they changed this to six mana, it just become like one of the best removal tools in uh, the game. Now, removal in general is a very expensive uh, mana cost. So this is like one of the most cheapest flexible cards I can consider right now. And it's just been so notorious throughout the longest time of Runeterra history like even at seven mana this card was being played in almost most control decks that had Shadow Isles included in it I can't think of a more staple card from SI than Vengeance itself and now that it's six mana it's a super playable card uh, the only downside to this card is when you're facing Ionia because they play Deny and Deny is simply four mana and this costs six so they just beat you with tempo outside of that Vengeance is going to be one of your most premium cards against a lot of decks like anything that hasn't got protection tools suffers to vengeance unless they're like a faster aggro deck but anything playing slightly mid-range gets blown out by vengeance often times card number two glimpse beyond not one that is seen the most play but is one that is just been throughout history at least often like you, you always consider glimpse beyond the ability to kind of like if having one of your units is simply going to die anyway and doesn't even get a favorable trade. Uh, Glimpse Beyond gives that interaction where you can simply draw two cards and drawing two cards is pretty ridiculous. Uh, a lot of the time, you're not really, there's not many downsides to killing off an ally to draw and simply like, there's no other way to put it. Uh, this card has a funny interaction against Leeson as well, where if you kill your units that they're targeting, then they can oftentimes lose value. And there is some scenarios where killing your ally does help you to uh, maybe stop your opponent from doing certain combos. So Glimpse Beyond definitely not the most played, but is one that's never forgotten from SI. And I think another card that doesn't see as much play, but that being that we don't play as many copies of it, I guess, is going to be Ruination. Probably like the premium board clear, the dark hole of Rune Terror. It's simply just going to kill all units. Similar to Vengeance, this is simply just going to be blowing out any mid range decks, and it's not one to. You'd always consider this. If you're an SI and you're building a deck that's slightly slower or more control, uh, this is going to be included. We play it in like decks like Darkness, and we play it in decks like. Uh, I forgot what it's called. I feel the rush and stuff like that. It's always been considered, it's just pretty crazy. Sometimes you can just win the game straight up by simply killing all units on the board. Now, it's not one that you are going to include a lot of copies of, but having one Ruination in your SI deck can sometimes just break a game. Until most recently, uh, Withering Whale was definitely one of the best cards for SI. Uh, pretty much just the ability to like destroy your opponent's aggro board and then heal a little bit it was just really good uh, for the longest time being at fast speed just made it super good now this deck this card definitely goes through certain mini games where we play less or more of it just like most tech cards i don't want to try and ramble on about that too much but notoriously withering whale is always going to be a card that's considered included or not played depending on what decks are popular but as soon as like aggro is around and their units have a lot of one hp uh, chuck withering whale in and they're going to cry you might notice a common trend here that SI has like very good removal in terms of tech and uh, staples. So like if you're ever going into a super aggro meta and you're like, hey, you know what? I'm going to make an SI deck and just punish them all. That's where uh, SI is going to come in and like be your saving grace. So let's talk about, let's talk about the last card here. Now, Vile Feast. Now this is like probably the best card from SI. This doesn't necessarily need to be played in control decks either. Two mana, drain one, not to steal one, but drain one from a unit to summon a spiderling. 
simply just the ability to kill a unit, summon a blocker. This card has like so much value for two mana. It's actually insane just how consistent this card's been throughout time and is pretty much always a three of in a lot of SI decks. Now Vile Feast is like the most premium card. If you're in SI, you're probably playing it. If you're not, you may be doing something wrong unless you're in some sort of like weird aggro deck. But even then you still are at least considering playing it because it's just so damn good. And yeah, these are the cards you want to be considering when you're building decks in Shadow Isles, especially if you're playing something slower. Uh, it's going to be a go-to region, as I said, for pretty much the staples of removal. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was fun. I might do something more like this. Uh, what region uh, should I do next? Thanks for watching, guys.